In this video, we are going to see about linear induction motor. Linear induction motor is one of the uh, special electrical motor and it is advanced version of rotary induction motor which gives you a linear translational motion instead of uh, rotational motion. It has followed the working principle and the basic concept of rotary three phase induction motor that is conventional type induction motor. The stator and rotor is cut axially and spread out flat that is nothing but a linear uh, construction and in this type in linear type the stator and rotor are called by a primary and a secondary respectively. The secondary of the linear induction motor consists of a flat aluminium conductor with ferromagnetic core. We have to see that exact uh, configuration then you get to know the idea of that configuration. It is the rotary type three phase quill cage induction motor configuration. Okay. The outer ring is stator and their inner periphery has slots. Uh, the winding is accommodated in that and we are giving three, three phase supply to that winding. Then it will produce rotating magnetic flux. That rotating magnetic flux will circulate inside of the stator. And along with that it will uh, enter into the rotor through the air gap. The rotor is a squirrel gauge construction and it has several um, bar, aluminium bar. That aluminium bar, this, this is the cross-sectional view of stator and rotor. And if you are seeing that cross-sectional view of uh, rotor, we, we can able to see only that uh, uh, terminal of bar. The terminal of bars are shorted together by a end ring. Okay. So this is the stator and rotor construction of three phase quill cage induction motor and in the linear type instead of aluminium bar we, we are going to use only the aluminium sheet. The outer layer of the rotor is uh, uh, covered by an aluminium sheet okay. and then interior portion is made up of ferromagnetic material and the name itself says a linear type induction motor so to uh, make the exact view we have to cut this construction in the same instant we have to cut in both st stator and rotor after that we have to put it in a flat way you see this so flat view uh, of that uh, earlier construction um, the first one is called as primary in the linear type induction motor we should not say stator and rotor. The first one is state primary. We are giving supply to the primary side only. And then the secondary one is uh, that outer layer. Outer layer means the layer which is going to nearby the primary portion is covered by the by the aluminium sheet. Okay, aluminium sheet conductor. And the remaining portion is made up of ferromagnetic material in the um, secondary. Okay. Now the rotating magnetic field is produced in horizontal direction. That flux linked with the conductor which is accommodated in the secondary side. So that linked flux proportionally induces EMF in the secondary. Right. That will induce EMF in the secondary. That EMF produces required torque. Okay. Now um, we have to see how the torque is going to develop in the linear induction motor and finally we will uh, compare the uh, torque the same rating motor uh, linear type induction motor and rotary type induction motor how the develop how the torque is going to develop and that nature and finally we will see the speed torque characteristics of uh, uh, rotary type induction motor and the force uh, versus velocity characteristics of the linear type induction motor we have to compare both them. generally primary side is um, smaller than secondary let us take uh, for the exact example is traction the secondary is kept on the track and the primary is on the train which will be smaller size so practically primary or secondary one of them will be smaller and other one is longer that uh, longer one is fixed along the complete length on which we want to travel there are uh, two parts in the linear type induction motor one is primary and another one is secondary one of them is short right uh, is probably the exact uh, example is uh, electric traction right in the electric traction i said uh, the train the primary portion is fixed with the 
train uh, bottom side on the drag we are fixing secondary portion so uh, to operate that to, to do the linear induction motor operation and uh, we are uh, maintaining like that now I uh, what I said the second so primary is short compared to track the train uh, length is smaller only so it seems primary is short okay and based on that we are classifying short double sided primary and short single sided primary this is short double sided primary the short primary portion this is primary and this is also primary so we have uh, two primary portion and in between we are placing the secondary the primary side only we are giving electrical supply because this is also one of the motor it will convert electrical energy to the mechanical energy the converted mechanical energy in the form of linear motion and this is single sided primary we have only one primary portion and secondary is lengthy here also primary is short but we have double side and secondary is lengthy one practically uh, short double sided primary is used because it has very good magnetic locking so leakage flux will be minimum so losses will be minimum in the double sided primary and practically double sided primary only possible that is why uh, i am going to explain the working operation of double sided primary to explain it clearly i am going to show the 3d view okay so you have to see this is the 3d view there are two primary we are giving three phase supply uh, and the secondary portion is uh, uh, carries two material the bottom of the secondary is covered by the that is made up of uh, um, uh, ferromagnetic material and the top portion is uh, um, uh, covered by the aluminium sheet and whatever we are giving supply in the primary that three phase supply will produce rotating magnetic field then that uh, developed rotating magnetic field will uh, travel through the secondary okay then at the time that rotating magnetic flux will cut by the aluminium conductor so then uh, it will produce emf in the uh, aluminium sheet and that developed emf that is the emf is going to develop in the top portion of the secondary only that developed emf will causes current that current nature is circulating and and that developed circulating current only going to interact with the rotating magnetic field of the primary then it will produce one thrust force that thrust force only will uh, move the uh, load in linear movement let us compare uh, the developed torque in the linear induction motor with the torque developed in uh, rotary type induction motor mm. So this is the rotary type induction motor to compare uh, the torque developed in a rota rotating type induction motor with the linear type induction motor i am uh, i have taken in linear way the same uh, squirrel gauge rotary type induction motor so this is the stator we are giving supply three phase supply so for example if it is two pole means north and south pole going to induce in the stator side and this is the rotor uh, uh, these are all the bars aluminium bars and the bars terminal is shorted by a end ring but this side also it is shorted by a end ring and so um, after giving supply in the stator it will uh, that uh, that will produce rotating magnetic field then that rotating magnetic flux will linked with the aluminium bars then that will produce emf then that emf will produces current okay so that current will flow through the, that is the bar which is uh, uh, placed under the north pole carries current in one direction and the bar under the south pole carries the opposite direction current so current will be likewise and this will carry the current in left to right direction means the bottom side end ring carries um, right to left direction of the current so it carries transverse current the end ring carries transverse current and the bars carries vertical direction of current the transverse current uh, will not produce torque to drive the load so that is why whatever current flowing in the uh, bars aluminium bars that is only going to uh, develop the torque okay so that torque will be directly proportional to the current uh, which is flowing in the aluminium bars okay 
and we have to compare the um, uh, the torque which is going to develop in the linear induction motor see in the linear type induction motor to uh, that uh, the that is the emf is going to induce in the top portion of the that is top portion of the road uh, secondary so to uh, show the circulating current uh, movement i'm showing the top view of the um, secondary this is the secondary okay secondary so top view so after that um, the current uh, that is um, the rotating magnetic flux which is going to uh, inter in, um, induce emf in the secondary um, top portion because top portion made up of aluminium material that is why their emf is going to induce that induced emf um, causes current but it is a smooth surface so that is why that developed current will flow in the circulating nature likewise okay so current will flow likewise it it will it may be a several um, loop okay circulating nature all are circulating nature likewise so wherever the uh, the primary is moving that is primary is uh, attached practically attached with the load for example if it is train means train bottom side uh, we are placing primary portion right and uh, the wherever the train is moving uh, in corresponding that is the portion the secondary portion which is corresponding to the uh, primary uh, is carries circulating current okay circulating current so the current direction is likewise current direction is likewise okay now we have to see uh, there are several loop right the outer loop carries maximum that is um, higher width then goes on the width going to decrease okay so width is going to decrease goes on the width is going to decrease that is why um, the current uh, the width is net width is less in the linear type induction motor and net current also less so torque is going to develop in the linear induction motor is also less okay compared to rotary type in rotary type uh, sir, there is no circulating current the current is going to flow in each and every bar carries the current so that uh, entire length carries the uh, same magnitude of the current so that is why compared to linear type induction motor rotary carries more torque uh, lot, uh, rotary can develop more torque but linear type induction motor develop only less torque okay so that is one thing and another thing is uh, the uh, linear type induction motor uh, air gap is little bit more compared to rotary type induction motor that is why um, magnetizing current will be more and uh, so magnetizing current will be more then it will uh, reduce the power factor right so because magnetizing current will be more means the reactance will be less then power factor will be less okay that is second second effect and the third one is we have to see the speed torque characteristics the speed torque characteristics of uh, uh, rotary type induction motor in linear type induction motor also the same nature going to follow but the thing is instead of torque in y axis in linear type of induction motor we have to take force and x axis instead of speed we are considering velocity okay see the y axis is force and the y, uh, x axis is velocity and also one more uh, parameter is there that is slip velocity and slip it, it is both of them in uh, reverse direction and according that is in the rotary type induction motor the maximum torque the slip at the maximum torque is s equal to r by x at this value of slip only we are getting maximum um, torque and according to the construction of linear type induction motor air gap is more that is why uh, reactance will be less okay in case of linear type induction motor see so reactance is less so reactance is less and slip will be more so at uh, we are getting maximum torque at maximum slip application of uh, linear type induction motor is uh, one is electric traction and another one is conveyors third one is curtain pullers mm, that is wherever we need linear motion we have we can use this type of motor and uh, i hope you all understood the basic concept and working operation of linear type induction motor and uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any queries or uh, comments you have to post it in the comment box